second trimester I felt it was only right that I did uh, a first trimester must have and so basically in this video I'm going to share with you all the things that helped me get through the first trimester I have videos explaining the different symptoms I had um, by week and so these are the things that kind of helped me make it more I guess you could say comfortable considering that it's very uncomfortable in the first trimester. There are a lot of things you can't control, and so I'm just gonna share these things with you. I will have a list in the description box um, of the different items that I am talking about, including links to some of the things that I have in front of me, or beside me, behind me. Um, so first of all, we'll start with what everybody needs or I feel everybody needs and doctors recommend of course is prenatal vitamins. I choose Rainbow Light brand simply because the one a day I just felt like I didn't have enough energy when I was taking the one a day prenatals. Um, I started off with the gummies and then someone recommended I switch to the pills and even with the pills it wasn't any iron in them and um, when I went to the doctor, I did have iron and vitamin D deficiency, so I ended up taking supplements. And what I did notice with the one a day uh, prenatal vitamins was that I was very constipated with them, um, but it could also be because I did add supplement. So, of course, your prenatal. A lot of people struggle with morning sickness during their first trimester, and for me, I didn't have morning sickness. I more so struggled with having nausea if I didn't eat. So to help combat that, I did have things like graham crackers, pretzels. Then I ended up picking up uh, these from Target, which I'll leave a link below. These were good, but then I found these. And I like these way more than these, just because you watched my previous videos, you know that I have been craving sweets. And this has not only met that need, but it also because it isn't for um, nausea, it has been a big, big help to me. So this one as well. Next thing I wanna talk about is how to deal with uncomfortability. So for me, right off the bat, I struggled with having just irritation like in my stomach area. So I got, um, <laughs> so I got maternity leggings very early on and I also got a nursing bra or uh, tank top rather because it was so uncomfortable and unbearable like my breast hurt so bad that even in the first trimester I couldn't wear a bra I just I just couldn't so when I discovered nursing tanks honey I don't wear regular bras anymore not only because it's uncomfortable but because the last time I wore um, a real bra was I think two weeks ago and I wore it to work and I wore it all day and all day I was uncomfortable and when I got home I realized I had a bruise and it's still there so I can no longer wear that specific size but more than that just the material it just is very uncomfortable so nursing tanks um, I won't show you all because I have one on now but I won't show you because it's inappropriate but I will link it below now what I will show you is the pants because again like I said I was uncomfortable in my stomach area very early on so I do have um, two pair I have three pair actually that I got from Macy's but um, I have on a pair now these are maternity pants and it's just regular skinny jeans um, that comes with the I don't know what you call this belly band ish thing um, stretchy material I don't know what to call it but I have black for work of course blue now these ones have a rip in them and I don't particularly like to wear them to work because it's not professional to some to me I don't think it's as professional but because I'm not doing community work anymore I do wear these in the VR on the VR VRS4 so and these have the band as well the, the ones i have on now they are burgundy i don't know if you can see them they're burgundy but they come with a tan uh band around the, the stomach area i wanted to talk about water um it's very important obviously to drink water even more so now that i'm pregnant and i that's something i've always struggled with but i did get this i haven't used it yet and dion hates that i haven't used it yet but this is supposed to be my weekend water jug 
when I say I struggle to drink water on the weekends, I struggle. And so my reason for getting this was so that I could keep up with how much water I'm drinking throughout the weekend. But at work, it's so much easier. So when I'm at work, I do use this water bottle. It's just a Contigo with a straw. And I'm very big on straws. The whole process of putting it up to my mouth, turning it up, I don't like that. So I do have this one for work. And then this is supposed to be my weekend one. I haven't used it yet, but you need to drink water. This pregnancy wedge. And this is basically, it's by Boppy. And when you lay either on, well, it's for when you lay on your side, it's just to support your stomach. I have struggled with sleep for a while. So this and then this, honey. Hmm. This is my best friend. Dion's get, Dion gets jealous about this because he feel like he's taking his space. But this is my favorite, 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 favorite thing. My favorite thing. So this is, I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like either Leech Co or we're just going to go with that. Leech Co. It's just a full body pillow um, specializing. Well, it's for pregnant women. So that. So the rest I'm gonna look at on Dion's little baby phone because we're using my phone to record. So obviously going back to first trimester, that's what we're talking about, even though I'm in my second. Ginger to help with nausea, to make sure you always have something on your stomach, salting crackers or anything to just nibble on throughout the day. If you can't hold down food, I think having some sort of cracker or some sort of um, pastry, like maybe pop tarts or something, to put on your stomach it's better than nothing for me especially because like i said i got nauseous if i didn't maternity leggings or pants or nursing tanks um oh tylenol when i say my headaches were horrible in the first trimester they were horrible like i never experienced headaches so much headaches so much in my life so tylenol is definitely one of them that i recommend i only take tylenol that's it so for me i had to take vitamin d bio oil or belly butters those are really good for stretch marks now i had stress mark stretch marks before i got pregnant but now that i um am getting into my second trimester i have noticed that they have become uh, more dark but the bio oil um, on the bottle it says for pregnant women to start using it in your second trimester however i started using it before because i liked what it did for my face <coughs> <coughs> I had to hold that in. Bio oil is definitely a good thing to have. I will link it down below of the um, brand that I use. But for the most part, I believe that is it. I think that's it. I think those are the things that I would definitely say helped me through my first trimester. And I will insert a clip of what I looked like at 15 weeks. I am 16 weeks and three days pregnant today and we're excited for the next trimester.